Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ruben Ellis Films. My name is Ruben Janet Ellis and if you want to check my work, the link is in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a recent interior shoot that I did. I'm going to be talking about 5 important tips that you should be knowing before going on a shoot like this. Guys, don't forget to watch the behind the scenes and before and after of the shoot. Always use a tripod, props, HDR raw images, wide lens and aperture, angles and camera height. It is necessary that you use a tripod while you shoot an interior or an architecture. It is because you need your horizontals and vertical lines aligned. So the second reason why you need a tripod is because while you do an interior shoot you normally keep your aperture towards f9 or f10 so that you have everything in focus. To compensate that, you normally keep your shutter speed around 1 1 25th or 1 10th so that you get enough light inside the frame. So when you take your shutter speed at that number, you have high chances of motion blur. To avoid the motion blur, you should always use a tripod. Either you take your own props or you can rent them. It is necessary that you deck up the space or style it. To do that, you need or you require props. You require props to make it look attractive and beautiful. So if you have a dining table in the frame, you need to keep plates, a fruit basket or whatever that will make it look attractive or aesthetic. First of all, you need to keep your camera settings on RAW. You have a lot of flexibility on the post. So when you take your image in Lightroom or any other editing app, you will have a lot of leverage with the exposure or the tones or you can do anything with the picture if you set it on raw. Whenever you take a shot which involves outside scenery, you can shoot it with HDR images. How to do HDR? So to take HDR photos, you need to keep this in mind. First of all, you need to take the shot with the normal and correct exposure. Then you take the shot with two stops higher, more than the normal exposure. Then you take two stops lesser lesser than the normal exposure so when you do that you'll have three different images that you can blend in lightroom and there you'll get your hdr image i use a 1635 mm of sony g master so if i want to take a shot of a bedroom without making it look very clumsy just like this you might need a wide lens maybe a 16 mm or a 8 Aperture. You need to keep your aperture around f9, f10, f11 or somewhere around that range. It is necessary that you keep it at that range because you keep an entire space in focus. To get the sharpest shots, you need to keep the aperture at that range. A question that a lot of people struggle with is what angle or what camera height should we choose for an interior shoot. Well, what I suggest or what I normally do is I either shoot it on a stomach level or a chest shoulder level. Angles. It is important that you do a lot of experimentations in angles. You need to find the right angle by experimentation. You take multiple shots and then you can decide on post. It is necessary that you take a lot of variations and a lot of shots so that you can select and choose out on the post what you need and what you know with the right perspective you need. So guys, if you found this video informative and found the tips useful, do like, share and subscribe my channel for more.